Hi, I'm Mike with the Sioux Finnish Ski Club and I'm here to help you pick out skis and gear for the upcoming season. So looking at skis now, so with, uh, with uh, skate skis, so on my, uh, on my side here, so skate skis would be 10 to, to about 20 centimeters above uh, a adult skier's height. Classic ski would be roughly 20 to about 30 centimeters over the uh, skier's height standing upright in uh, ski boots or, uh, or shoes. The most important factor in uh, crossing your skis is the weight of the skier on the skis for, for a proper fit. So I know we're not on snow right now, but let's use our creative visualization here to, uh, to, to make the point. So uh, I'm now uh, on the skis and then when we talk about camber, that's the, that's the uh, bend in the skis, which is then closed as your weight is on the ski. And then with the weight being closed, that's your grip zone in the middle, which is then in contact with the snow. Then in classic, then it gives you the grip in the center part. And in skate, then it actually closes the ski so you, so you get a good forceful push off uh, with your uh, inside edge with the skate technique. Um, looking at the, uh, at the wax uh, bench here, so on that basis, so with the skate ski, then the actual full length from tip to tail is wax. So this is all glide wax, and you'd uh, wax it periodically with, with either paraffin wax or a um, or, or liquid wax and cork it. So full length is uh, glide wax. Uh, looking next at the classic ski, so I used some painter's tape to showcase your grip zone. So this the center third of the ski between the uh, tape here is your grip zone. So this is where you make contact with the snow, with your grip wax in the center of the ski. And um, similarly to the skate ski, so the tip and the tail, the top third, the bottom third of the classic ski is with glide wax. So um, that's a setup here with waxable skis. Moving next on to, um, onto uh, skin skis. So skin skis have been around uh, the last five, 10 years. Uh, so they have a um, uh, mohair type base here, which, which is the, uh, the grip of your uh, ski against the snow. Um, and the tips and tails of the skin ski still require glide wax. And uh, so on that basis, if we look at a scale ski, so scale skis have been around a long time. Uh, they've got a fish scale texture that's in the, in the central grip zone of the ski, so running uh, 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 in the center part of the ski, and the tip and tail above and then below the grip zone is your glide zone. So uh, on that basis, you wouldn't need any grip wax in the center, but you would still put on some glide wax periodically on the tip and the tail of a uh, scale ski. Uh, and uh, with kid skis and kid skis, uh, when they started out would be typically their, uh, their height and as they progress in ability and strength and uh, um, uh, they, they would get skis similar to, to an adult as well. Sometimes parents uh, buy a stiffer, longer ski for their uh, child trying to get more mileage out of the ski, but with the actual buyback program, it's great in terms of getting the perfect fit for your uh, skier's ability and weight each season, and then you can turn over the ski as your child progresses and grows as a, uh, as a, as a, as a skier. One. Now covering off ski poles. So uh, first off on the classic side. So a classic uh, pole uh, for the length of the pole, if you're standing upright, then uh, the pole uh, strap, uh, the top of the strap would be coming right to your shoulder bone. That's the most uh, common fitting uh, uh, versus a skate pole, which is longer by about 10 centimeters. And that would come uh, roughly to your lip or you know, just below your, your nose. So that's uh, my uh, measure right there. So skate 10 centimeters longer than the classic. Next on to ski boots. So first, uh, uh, we'll talk about classic boots. So with classic boots, the key uh, features are that there's uh, a soft uh, 
cover over the ankles so there's full uh, ankle movement uh, and um, also when you fit the boot uh, then it's a, uh, a comfortable toe box and, and the heel cup shouldn't be lifting up the back so it should be a comfortable kind of a running shoe type of a feel to the boot whether it be classic or ski looking next at a skate boot so the so the difference uh, uh, on a skate boot is that it's got a, uh, a rigid uh, uh, plastic or carbon cuff over the ankle so it gives you that added ankle rigidity uh, for the skating technique as you're pushing off the inside the inside edge of the ski so that's the, the key defining part of a skate boot uh, if we flip over the boots and look at the uh, and look at the soles here so uh, on my uh, um, uh, on the side here we've got the the SNS uh, uh, um, sole and uh, correspondingly the, the binding so it's just got the actual deep groove in the center so this is a uh, uh, the SNS and it might have one pin or or, or two pins based on the type of boot that you get. Uh, next on to the NNN, so the defining part of the NNN uh, system uh, is, is that, that has two, two, two sort of lines or uh, ridges going down the actual full uh, uh, you know, length of the boot here. So that's the separation between NNN and, uh, and the SNS. So one final comment would be that for most people starting out with cross and skiing, the classic technique, classic skis would be the best starting point for the majority of people uh, versus skate. Uh, the person who might consider skate first might be uh, someone who wants a higher aerobic workout, is uh, generally in very good shape, and perhaps a former hockey player. They might consider skate first, but most people would go for classic skis, classic technique first, and then do a might, uh, uh, overall uh, transition over to skate after that, if they wanna do both uh, techniques. In terms of what I find is that uh, classic skiing is great early in the season when it's nice powder, powder snow, um, and then as you get more into the spring, crustier snow, softer snow, then you know, skate technique might be preferred if you're doing both techniques. But uh, uh, certainly uh, check out your uh, local ski shops. They got great uh, personnel, great uh, fitting capacity, and let's get skiing.